Greetings, Cub Scouts. My name is Mr. Shara. I am the Executive Director of Fishing's Future. I am also a certified angler instructor for the Boy Scouts of America and an area chief for Texas Parks and Wildlife. My council is in Houston, Texas, Sam Houston Area Council, and I also sit on the conservation committee with them. Today, we're gonna to look at one section of a bear goes fishing elective, and that is this elective here. So your parents should have already downloaded for you and printed off this copy so you can follow on or follow along while we're doing this program. The section that I'm going to be concentrating in on this section is learning about fishing equipment, but we're going to drop down and talk about a make a simple fishing pole. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details of what parts that we're going to or what the function is of each one of these parts. This is just to help you build that fishing pole. Then during the interactive online experience when we're when you're taking the class we will go over all the different parts and what their function is in a simplified fishing rig or fishing equipment so some things that you need to get around your house will be a stick of sort you need some kind of stick or a cane pole you need a cord or a string, some kite string. Even if you have your shoelace, take out your shoelace. You can always put it back on your shoe later. Doesn't have to be very long, just something that you can tie on to the end of a stick. A piece of aluminum foil, you don't need much. Maybe a pool noodle, and we'll talk about that. And also that hook the wire hanger hook that we asked you to make at the very beginning of these segments to help you tie the knots. So here we go. First off, we're going to actually make a simple fishing pole or a cane pole. The next video that will come out, we'll talk a little bit more on building a fishing pole if you already have fishing equipment and everything in your tackle box. But this segment we'll talk about, let's just build a cane pole. It's a simple cane pole. We actually build these with the scouts and put real hooks on them, real bobbers on them, and then we go fishing and it's a great time. But now that we're in the house and before we go fishing, um, we need to kind of get an idea of how to put this together. So first off, have your stick. Whichever method you know how, go ahead and tie your string onto the end of the stick. Most sticks have a base end and then a narrower end, tie it onto there. Maybe have four to five feet of string, okay? From there, you can stop this video and then once you're ready to go, then press continue. So now that you have the line attached to the end of your fishing pole, we now want to start going from the top of the fishing pole, the standing line that we talked about in our knot tying class. The next thing that we can add here is a float of sort, some kind of bobber. Then we're going to attach some sort of weight. And then as we continue to go down the line, we will get the hook. So let's start with the bobber or the float. When you fish, you normally have a float like this. But if you don't have one, and we'll talk about what this does, you can use maybe the end of a pole noodle. Okay, 
this will kind of show you the way you know the float of what it does what its reaction is when a fish hits your bait so with a parent if you have a pull noodle and with their permission cut a little piece off maybe about an inch inch and a half you can have them cut in half make the letter c or pac-man and then right across from that just cut a little slit because what you're going to do with your fishing line you're going to take the open you're going to lay it in there and that little slit just add the line through there so now you have something like this and now that's the bobber because in a real bobber when you attach it and we'll do another video on how to attach these what you're trying to simulate is what that bobber does so if you don't have a bobber we have to make our own bobber so here's a real bobber here's the bobber that you're going to make and then we'll talk about what it does okay so stop the video work on your bobber and then come back with me so i'm assuming now that you have your bobber in place and your fishing pole like this your line and your bobber now the next thing that we need to talk about is the weight the bobber sits in the water it is a strike indicator to let you know that there's a fish biting at your hook but the weight itself keeps all of this line straight so the bobber does not lean over sideways so you want a bobber that's straight up and down and a lot of times if the bobber is doing this on the water you may be on the ground your your hook may be laying in the mud that's why you can adjust the bobber up and down your line so you can get everything within a depth of where possibly that fish is at if you're casting this line we'll talk about that later on what's the distances that you want when you're casting safely so you should have this the next thing we're going to get a piece of aluminum foil just need a little bit of it don't mean much and what this is, or what this represents, is the weight. This is a little snap-on weight. Could be lead, could be lead-free. We try to do more lead-free than we do lead. But if you only have lead, then just don't lose it. Lead is normally attached directly underneath the bobber, which is going toward the hook end attach it but don't crimp it down really tight where you can you know snap your line because a lot of the everything that you put on here the bobber and the weight you want it to go up and down the line so if we have a late uh, a weight that will demonstrate we'll just kind of put that through there we have our needle nose pliers we crimp the weight down and it will look like this. But since you don't have a weight, you're going to lose aluminum foil. So we take a piece of aluminum foil and we'll make it a little this. And we'll just kind of wrap it around the line like so. Because again, we want it to go up and down the line. So now we should look like this. We have our fishing pole. We have our line is standing in. We have the bobber and now we have a weight. So you can press pause again, go ahead and do this and then start the video over when you're ready. 
Okay, so I'm hoping that uh, you, you guys are taking some pictures for me. I didn't mention that earlier, but maybe start taking some pictures that of showing me what you're doing, and I will send you my email address later on to your your parents, so we can see exactly what you're doing. So now, the last thing that we need to do to this is tie on our hook. So you should have already made your wire hanger hook. If you haven't made this, go back to our YouTube channel and go ahead and make a knot or go ahead and make a hook. So here we go. Remember this, we're just going to do the improved clinch. Remember, we're going to go through, go through the eye, turn it a couple of times, go through the loop, Go back through the loop, clinch it down. Remember, we're not going to put this in the mouth. We can leave it on for right now, but or we can clip it off and then put it in the trash can if it's six inches or shorter or recycle it. So now here we go. We have our pole, our line, our standing in, our float our weight, and now our hook. So now we're ready to go fish. Stop the video, complete this, and then come back and we'll finish it up. Well, I'm hoping everything's going okay. You've already returned, you're showing me, you guys are doing great. You've been sending me a lot of cool pictures. So again, now we have everything ready to go. And in the next video, we'll talk more about what this rig does and how it works. And also, the other section is you have to go outside and practice casting. So if you can um, and you have room outside, you can actually cast with this. So another thing you can start doing is getting some cans. You know, everybody's indoors right now. You're probably eating a lot of green beans and a lot of corn, a lot of peas. So start saving some cans. You know, you can get the little ones or I'm in Texas and I like to be big chili can. So this is a size number 10 can. And maybe spend the day with your parents and draw something. Maybe say, hey, thank you, mom and dad, for all you're doing uh, with me in, in homeschooling and getting online so I can continue my education. But to continue my adventure in the scouts. So maybe, you know, make some little things, decorate your cans, and then put them outside, stand at a safe distance, and maybe kind of try to flip your hook in the can. So you're casting at an object. Stand back, don't go over your head, just kind of Flip it out there, drop it in the can, and maybe work with your, your sister and your, your other, other siblings in the house, or maybe even, you know, you and your parents go out there and see who can drop this in the can most. Put some points on it, and maybe the loser has to do the dishes. But again, I hope you had a fun time today watch our other videos. This is only number three of Make a Simple Fishing Pole for the Cub Scout Program of Bear Ghost Fishing. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.